And so, Perusia, Armageddon, the causes of hurt, pain and grief, pollution, hurts, pains, anxiety, uh, made crystal clear. <laughs> and God's love is not a cortisol. God's love doesn't cause cortisols and health isn't a cortisol. Peace isn't a cortisol. Joy isn't a cortisol. In fact, all the fruits of the spirit are not cortisol stress hormones. But uh, come from the parasympathetic nervous system attained to for the endorphin love, for healthy natural attachments, for happiness, for peace, for healing. Yeah. Um, and so we're on to the uh, bringing in now, the healing. So in accord with Revelation 21.4 and all scripture and Revelation. Uh, for the healing, for the healing promise for all nations, for heaven on earth, that God will wipe away every tear and death will be no more. Death of the spirit will certainly be no more. Um and pain and suffering will be no more because we will have attained to that consciousness not to not to go into defence and hurt others. So we must conquer the fear and uh, uphold the moral law in order for us to attain to the health and well-being and we're certainly at a time where we need to understand health and the immune system and how stress inhibits the functions in our body. So no more divide and conquer, no more abuse. It's time for change. So we're into the healing section here now. So uh, I think I'll start with the crown of stones, which is uh, looking at that um, healing consciousness and the, uh, the stones of Revelation 21 and how they heal. And uh, yeah, looking at attaining to the peace, because all healing comes from peace. So, um, oh, so what number am I starting at? <laughs> number, yeah, I'll start with number 40. Okay, here we go. The healing. Crown of stones for you. Revelation 21. The crown of stones are for you, for your love to be made whole, for you, for your pain to be healed, for you, for your heart to beat as one with love, for you, for your thinking and feeling hemispheres to be joined, for you, for love to conquer fear, for you, in you, for enlightenment of love's light, for you, for love of God who is love of others as self. For you, a perfect measure made golden. For you, for mind, body and spirit to be one. Joined, connected, whole, one, one. The I am made whole again in love, who is God. In you, for you, self-actualization. Kudi, only love is one, complete and broken. For you, vitality, vibrant vibrations. Resonating positive energy for life, well-being and peace for you. For you and for others to be made whole in God's love again. Thanks be to God. The Heavenly City, Zion. When will she come to be, Zion, radiant with love's light, gleaming with gems of consciousness of the promised land for healing pain, for all nations, for all people, for the healing of pain, for peace on earth. From heaven to earth, twofold peace doubled as he frame, within and without, above and below. For heaven to come down to earth, it is his promise, this city radiant with love's light. Please enter freely and bathe in her light of minerals that Linus Pauling said you can trace every sickness, every disease and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Just as sulphur in homeopathy is relevant to every disease, 
So it is when Jesus Christ, the whole spirit of love, says through John in the book of Revelation that sin puts us into the fiery lake of sulphur. Cells debased as six, six and six. Sick proteins destabilized by cortisols of doubt. Minerals and elements, holding sacred geometrical forms, turning a hexagon into an octagon. Man's imperfection made whole, transformed to an infinite flow of eights. For perfecting the flow, for love to flow freely as a river of gold. Eights, upright infinities of endorphin blood, offering a blueprint for eternal life of the spirit, made whole with our Father's love where spirit will not be cracked or broken, but will reach the height of Everest and beyond, perhaps the true Kohinoor, the true mountain of light. Heavenly Crystals, Revelation 21, 22, 1 Corinthians 15, 52, the last trumpet. Crystals. You fascinate me as a hungry desire for food, temptations that are not unhealthy. You glisten catching light to refract and polarise a dark depression looming. You bring light to the dark. You have helped me and you have helped me to help others, each with your own unique elements connecting with our ether. That homeopathic connection of me to you, of us to you and the universe, dust to dust, the place we unite as one. Your rainbow of colours, matching the resonance of our chakras, vibrations of sound and colour, a symphony played as an orchestra of geometric patterns matching our cells, connecting elements, connecting love and light and life. Dust to dust, crystals you are the connection. O oh, crystals, there is no mystery to how you work and how you do heal. You are not new age, but old age, as old as the ancient of days, older than man himself. However, it is woman who sees your beauty and intuitively knows your healing powers beyond your sparkle. You are old age, not new age, and not of the Antichrist, but of the new Jerusalem for heaven to come down to earth, glowing as a jasper stone for healing all nations and assisting in the princely peace process worthy of honour for twofold peace and heaven on earth. Peace within and peace without with others, self and God who is love, worthy of honour, made golden by the golden rule for positive love. Love is not a cortisol. Why do we complicate love? Crystals, you have so much to say to make crystal clear where we have fallen short, and yet with love, kindness, reason and understanding, you fill the missing link between heaven and earth, between mind and body in our nervous system. You fill the void, repairing the messaging system for life, for love to reconnect. We can be changed just as in the twinkling of an eye. We will be changed just as in the twinkling of an eye, as it is written. Crystal gemstones, you are the catalyst back to love from a darkened place. A treasure found, a language translated for healing. You light the way to the iron rods in the mitochondria of our cells for vitality, health and well-being. You facilitate our cell formation, an ability to detoxify our body, the temple where we do dwell, the temple where love does dwell in us. Love is not a cortisol. It is sin that is anti to Christ's love made whole and one in us. Do not fall into the lake of sulphur twice. Crystals you work even when raw, perhaps more beautiful straight from the ground, truly treasures found. Everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls. Only our truth will set us free, and Jesus Christ is coming quickly, where we will learn war no more. Faith, Hebrews 11.1 1. Faith is the assured expectation of things hoped for, the evident demonstration of realities, though not beheld. Faith is always a positive belief system for the future good. When the Son of Man arrives, will he really find the faith on earth? Faith is always a positive goal. Love is positive in the present. 
Faith is positive belief in the future. Faith is love being manifested. There is no fear in faith. Love is not a cortisol. Life. Life is not about what religion, but about our faith in the good. Life is not about what colour, but about our compassion and humanity. Life is not about what gender, but about our thinking and reasoning abilities. Life is not about sex, but about feelings, care and making love. Life is not about anxiety, stress and fear, but about love, hope and trust. Life is not about fighting, enmity and violence, but about peace, harmony, trust and faith. Life is not about fear and negativity, but about being positive, loving and kind. Life is wonderful, if and only if we cultivate positive love. Building bridges, one love. The ravines are deep and swirling, east and west merging new waters, emerging for rapture, fountains of peace to the world. Islam Iman Dua, peace, faith and worship of love, of oneness in us. No divisions, no sects, no harm, no haram, just halal, hallelujah for all. Freedom through love creating trust, causing love to become one, one whole, holy, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Self-actualization, seeking the pain and loss with reason, love is the reason. La ilaha il Allah, Yahweh, Yehovah, Yeshua, Brahman, Buddha, Om. Is it not the meaning of the name which is truth? Let us all become one, humane through one love made whole and one in us. Love is always positive. Kashmir snow. Snow as stars falling to be picked as flowers. New constellations blanketing ruby hearts and sapphire smiles. Snow as flakes of heaven, landing full of promise. Peace one day, Philippians 4-7. How far away is peace one day? One day then two makes life better for you and for me. Then we can have three and maybe four for more to live and to love in harmony with self and with others, harmonious love, for harmony with nature and peace from above. The planets and moon mean peace very soon, so please do tune to the peace of love that excels all thought and makes home for a dove. Have faith that the good will conquer the evil and that love can conquer the fear. It is so very near and clear that when love conquers all, man can walk tall. With love there's no fear, only things we hold dear, no need to conquer or blame one another. Then we can be a true community, with man united by the peace of love that is home for the dove. Yea, peace every day is not far away. Jerusalem O green and pleasant land of the dove, what has happened to peace and love, for Jerusalem that was being made here is now being turned into terror and fear? O green and pleasant land, do you hear that Jerusalem that was made here is peace that is meant to be from living a good life positively? Positively living means not to die from negativity that is the lie, lies from love's opposition called stress. It is stress that creates in us such a mess. Jerusalem, negative you are not meant to be, but healing the lands with positivity. Life energy. Joy, laughter and a smile, lasting more than a little while. 
A glow inside energises a glow outside, illuminating a rainbow aura with golden positive light, flowing like the river of life, cells firing madly, communicating rapidly, switching on the processes to life. Pure and golden white light. Like an angel in the night, have no fear, only love, and we can live with the hope from above. All pain released, processed and forgotten, forgiven and bonded by love, for union and unity, peace, goodwill and grace. Contentment and fulfilment with a happy smile, make this life so worthwhile. Sonnet for a Loving God If God had a healing method, what would it be? Would it be based on science and chemistry? Chemistry not the laboratory kind, but chemistry born in the blood out of mind. How can mind do that, you may ask? And I may say this is a complex task. A complex task this may be, to attain to thoughts that are heavenly. It seems to me we have lost the divine who gives us the power to love all the time, in whom does it make a difference to create, let me assure you there is no mistake. Only God's love teaches wholeness of mind. Only God's love teaches gentleness for man to be kind. The End The End is the beginning of the word endorphin. The end of the quest for heart smiles in love, mimicked by opium, posing as opiates, killing pain, knowing pleasure, addictive, seductive, seducing the lie. The end, ending enslavement to cortisols crying for an end. The end, the release of the endorphins, the dopamine, the serotonin, the oxytocin, the anandamide, binding the blood in marriage with love, which is always positive. The endorphin is the end. The end is the beginning of the word endorphin, his love in our blood. The end is the beginning of freedom. The end is the beginning of the promise. For look, I am making all things new. All things new. Revelation 21.3 Look. The tent of God is with mankind, and he will reside with them, and they will be his peoples. And God himself will be with them, and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more, neither will mourning, nor outcry, nor pain be any more. The former things have passed away. And the one seated on the throne said, Look, I am making all things new. Also, he says, Right, because these words are faithful and true. And he said to me, they have come to pass. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To anyone thirsting, I will give from the fountain of the water of life free. Anyone conquering will inherit these things, and I shall be his God, and he will be my son. Yes, I am coming quickly. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, come. And we'll just end by starting at the beginning. Now what if St. Agnes had been in the garden? Adam, Eve and St. Agnes. We will learn war no more, Isaiah 2.4. Oh, what if St. Agnes had been in the Garden of Eden on that fateful day? Could we be living in paradise now? Would we be living in paradise now? Perhaps, just, maybe. Could we be positively living with no hurts or pain? Just love and kindness. No jealousy, no crime, no sickness, no shame. No death of love. No death of the positive spirit. No death of joy. No wars. Just wonderful counsel. No wars, just princely peace. No wars and eternal parent guiding. What is the point of fighting? All for the same thing anyway. That elusive prize of positive life, peace and love for our loved ones. 
Do beat your swords into plowshares and your spears into pruning shears, as it is written. Go grow your own paradise and your own food. Grow your own herbs and your own flowers. Learn grace for self-control, autonomy and self-worth. Heal and grow in positive spirit. Love each other as yourself. Love your neighbour and be kind. Love our global neighbours. Give love freely as love takes time. Strong, yet fragile, sacred. One betrayal will burst love's bubble. We become negative and fearful, not able to trust. So never betray, and we can positively live now. Oh, St. Agnes, where were you that fateful day when mankind positively died? And so, come, Lord Jesus, come. The whole Spirit anointed for healing all nations and heaven on earth as promised by God who is love and light for enlightenment of love. And love is not a cortisol. Stressful moment, crying for an end. And this photograph is a vision of light. God granted me and I thank God and I thank God for all of this work, the Holy Spirit, for his love anointed for healing all nations and heaven on earth, Parousia, the return and presence of Jesus Christ who is returning. Thanks be to God. We're all made whole and one through God's love, anointed. Keep faith and know these end times, this corona virus crisis will end. But we must attain to love. To support our immune systems, we must remove the stresses and the austerities and the causes of pain that are all set out in this work. Health is not a cortisol. God's love is not a cortisol. Peace is not a cortisol. Life is not a cortisol. And joy is not a cortisol. None of the fruits of the spirits cause cortisols and cortisols are the causes of all disease. Stress is the main killer. So we need our, our leadership to cultivate the love and welfare for the people, welfare for all people and quality of life for all people and looking after the land, looking after the animals. May God bless us.